Okay, gonna do a close-up video of this tub. It's a 1979 CJ7 original tub. Um, it's hard to grade this one, to be quite honest with you, because there is a little bit of rust in it, or a lot of, I shouldn't say a lot. Just depends on where you're located. Um, out here, this is a lot of rust. Uh, back east, I've, I've been back east. We, we drove to Maine a few years ago and scoped out all the yards out there, and this is um, very, very usable. So that's why we're listing it. Um, that and I have a couple people that wanted to see it when it was all said and done. So let's start at the floorboards. The floorboards here, this one has been replaced. Um, and I, I would say the welding was not the greatest, but uh, it is definitely patched. Um, this area below the seats here, um, I think because they were getting trying to get the nut um, out from under here, they... Uh, I don't know if it was part when they did the floor or what, but they cut into this and then kind of patched that back up, or maybe that was part of the floor. Um, rear floorboard actually is not too bad. The corners are starting to go a little bit. You got the corner here and then this guy here. And same thing on that guy over there. And then the driver's side, and that's that same area that's like pocketed in there. And again, I think maybe when they did the floor, they just didn't do a very good job cleaning that up. So that, that whole area um, is, uh, is done, but it either needs to be redone or reworked. Um, the firewall is clean, there's no rust on it, uh, just a little bit of surface. The tunnel is good, nice and clean. It's got a little bit of a dimple here, but that should be able to pop out pretty easily. The back floor area is nice and clean. Uh, it does come with the roll bar, and I'm gonna include these corners, because I'll show you here in a second. Um, this was goofy where they cut out this guy this is probably to access the fuel tank stupid to do i probably have a piece out of another jeep out here that i can give you for that to patch that i might even have some pieces up there if you want to work something out on that guy um starting to go a little bit here this is that wheel 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 area this side's actually nice and clean and then um going down to the lower rocker this is what we were looking at on the outside this is just, this is actually just mainly surface. You can get this out clean. Um, there's a little bit of filler in this lower rocker here, probably was pushing it one time and they smoothed it out there. And then um, this back corner, hence the reason you're getting a corner. Okay, so there's the corner, but here's how bad this corner is. The good news is, is I mean, it's other than here, it pretty much right at the seam, which is where that corner gets replaced at anyway. So that whole side will get get replaced there or at least I think it will depending on what you're doing with it and then this side again is done and it goes right about to that seam just down and then this is actually nice this corner is um, we got a dump truck coming in so I'll have to make this to make a two-part video and then we got the lower rocker here and then a little bit of filler down there back up this is just all where the paints flaking this is all solid so no rust on the windshield frame area um, and then the firewall area here. So I'll make a part two here. I got to handle a dump truck full of gravel we're getting today. So.